you know, this week's blog, I'm reminded of our first infield class that we're having here tonight. And one of the things I impress upon our players, something that we do at the beginning of every practice is work a simple exchange drill. And this exchange drill is designed to teach players how to receive the ball without ever having to close the glove. And the reason this is important, and I tell them, you're as good of an infield as you are your exchange. As the game gets faster, the speed in which the players are running down the line, it's more important that I can make a quicker exchange as those athletes get faster too. Every play that we have on the infield that's a two-handed play, that two-handed fast exchange becomes a big part of it. And what that means is I have to learn to catch the ball, thumbs up, my hands out in front of me, and allow myself to receive the baseball on the flat surface of the glove without ever having to close the glove. Most of the time I see players that get thumbed down and end up being very comfortable, especially when they're younger, catching the ball on the web because it's a safe catch. It's the way they did it when they first started playing catch as a young baseball player. So we try to break them of that habit and teach them to catch the ball in that thumb up position. We do that at the beginning of the drill, but we also want them to impress them on themselves that every time they receive a ball, they have an opportunity to make a faster exchange. Then when we get out here and we start taking ground balls or returning double plays, it becomes apparent the guys that have focused on that, taking it seriously in their practice work, because it shows up and they do a better job. And then you get the guys that kind of go through the motions and just do it for that one drill, and they end up making poor exchanges or they're having to close the glove. So whether I'm fielding a ground ball, the action stays the same. All I'm doing here is lowering my body level and turning the glove a quarter turn. But it's the same hand action of receiving the ball on the flat surface of the glove without having to close the glove. You see players that even here get used to catching the ball in the web and they fumble for the baseball before they make the exchange out of the glove and it just slows them down. That becomes a really big deal when we're trying to be as fast as we can in a double play. I want to be able to get the ball in my bare hand as fast as I can. It's one simple drill. It's one thing that we do every time I receive a baseball, whether it's playing catch, throwing a ball off the wall, or just throwing the ball in and out of my glove over and over again, that we have a chance to better ourselves and make a faster exchange. So that's something I really impress upon our middle infielders of taking extremely seriously, because at some time, your middle guys, always the best athletes on the team, at some point, every other middle infielder is just as talented. So what are you going to do to separate yourself from all those other guys in the exchange is a big part of that.